Hey, what's up guys? This morning I wrote an article that you can read down below about building the foundations for physical strength. You'll also find a link to my advanced 5x5 strength training routine down below. But today in this video, what I wanted to talk about are how the foundation principles related to building physical strength also relate to becoming a stronger version of yourself in absolutely all realms of life. Now, if you watch enough of my videos, it's very clear to you that I am of the opinion, of the belief, of the conviction, if you will, that the body is the mind and the way you care for your body, the way you carry your body, the way your body is presented to the world is a great reflection of your internal character, your psychology. And if that is the case, then the way we build our bodies, carry our bodies, strengthen our bodies, detoxify our bodies, use our bodies, all are reflections of and add to and are commensurate with our psychological, characterological, and mental strength. It's one thing, body and mind, one thing. So when I use language like core, uh, mechanics, work capacity as it relates to strength training, understand that when those things are present in you, whether or not you're a football player or a strong man, a strong professional strong man or a power lifter, it still applies because you want to have a solid, strong physical foundation to carry your soul, to work in the world with. You understand? So we have to honor it. You know, there are some people that are so spiritually minded that they're physically useless, right? And that's not the case. That's not what we want, right? We want to be physically strong, mentally strong. We want every, every facet of our character to be enhanced by the things that we do and we engage in. So today I'm going to talk about the three foundation principles for success. And I'm going to use language as it relates to strength training because we're all on the journey of becoming stronger versions of ourselves. The very first foundation principle for success is core strength. Now this term is thrown around quite a bit and a lot of people have uh, a lot of associations and confusion in fact about what core strength actually means. I think Paul Check does the best way of describing the core by saying it is everything from the tip of your head to your perineum, right? Right down to between your balls and your butthole, right? Top of the top of the head to the bottom of the spine. If you look at a if you look at a, a, a skeleton of a human being, essentially it's the skull, the spine, and the pelvis. Everything else is extremities. The arms, the legs are extremities, but the head, the neck, the torso, the lumbar spine, the sacrum, and the pelvis, all of that tied together, equals the core. Now what's interesting about the core and important about the core is that the core houses and protects your organs. So your brain is protected by your skull. Your spinal cord is protected by the vertebrae. Each vertebrae has a, uh, a protective as well as a, a, a an agility and movement capacity associated with it, right? So your spine. And then down in the pelvic floor, if you look at the, look at the pelvis like a bone, right? You turn it up like this. It's sort of like a basin. It's a, it's a bowl because it houses your internal organs, all of which include the uh, digestive organs, the sexual organs down there, and then stacked up right up into your rib cage, right? Because you can continue can, uh, consider the rib cage a part of that whole mechanism as well. Uh, you've got the heart, and you've got your stomach, and you've got your lungs all housed in the rib cage. So you've got the head, the rib cage, and the pelvis, which comprise the core. Now the muscles on the superficial that wrap around, that are associated with the core, are there for a number of reasons. Number one, again, it's to protect, right? Like your rectus abdominis, for example, is the big bulky muscles on the top of your abdominals, the ones that give you the six-pack look. Those muscles have a protective mechanism, a protective role, if, if you will, in the mechanics of the, of the core. Uh, if you get punched in the stomach, that's the, that's the muscle that tenses up and tightens so that a boxer won't get his liver blown apart when somebody punches him. 
It also helps to prevent hinging, right? If, if you're playing football and you go up for a, for a catch and somebody comes from behind you and hits you, puts their shoulders right in your low back, you if you didn't have the rectus abdominis keeping your rib cage tied down to your pelvis, you just you you crack flat, you flat right open, you you're, you crack your back. Okay. We also have the necessity for movement and pumping. Muscles that are associated with pumping would include your the um, solar plexus or your diaphragm, right? The heart is a muscle, cardiac, cardiac muscles. It's associated with pumping. Also, the stomach. Your the stomach muscles are in a way a part of the pumping mechanism that supports your digestive ability, your ability to digest food and eliminate, particularly eliminate food, right? We're designed as human beings in order to squat down in order to use the bathroom. That means that the, the thighs rest on the belly and compress the, the colon and help support elimination. Also being down in that squat position also relaxes the sphincters of the anus and rectum and allow you to defecate that much easier. So you can see that the muscles in the abdominal region, the muscles in the chest, shoulder, neck, face, pelvis, all contribute to far more than just being able to squat 600 pounds. It contributes way more than just being able to look sexy on the beach. In fact, your livelihood, your, your vitality, your life force is intrinsically linked to the muscles of your core if you're using the model that I share with you right now. So we want to make sure that those muscles are conditioned. One of the things that we, I'd like to share with you with regard to principles today, number one is core strength, um, are mechanics. Biomechanics is the second principle I want to share with you today. And in becoming a stronger version of yourself, in building up physical strength, biomechanics is of concern because it all has to do with your movement, your ability to move. And every movement emanates from a position of rest. So biomechanics is also associated with your posture, right? So you're going to have certain muscles in the core, in the extremities. Most muscular imbalances begin in the core, head, neck, shoulders, pelvis. Um, Muscular imbalances that, of course, you, they could destroy your physiology, like I just spoke about before. There are, there are muscular imbalances that can affect the, the effectiveness of your eyes, the way you see your jaw. Anybody ever have a clicking in the jaw or grinding in the teeth or, or a, a malocclusion? All right? They'll tell you that, hey, these muscles fuck me up. You have bad jaw muscles, you're not masticating your food properly, you're having half digested food particles in your in your belly, your digestive system's gonna have to work overtime to break it up because you ain't chewing right. It's all associated. If your solar plexus is tense and tight, your solar plexus is not relaxed and fully allowing the the drop down that's associated with the expansion of your lungs and the expansion of your belly. Right, because when your when your diaphragm drops, your belly ex expands. But if you've got a tight, tense, rigid diaphragm due to many psychological, energetic, but also physiological and uh, and just poor use of the body habits, you're gonna have a problem physiologically, right? But when it comes to biomechanics, as I'm talking all over the place here today, you know, when I'm talking about muscular imbalances screwing up your physiology, if your if your your solar plexus, if your diaphragm doesn't it doesn't work properly, you can't breathe properly. Breathing problems lead to everything from head problems to digestive problems. That's why the solar it's called the solar plexus. It's the sun. It's right in the middle here. Right? It's it's that critical. It's, tied, it, it's all associated with the heart, the lungs, life, and, um, and so on and so forth. It's just very obvious. If you have problems breathing, you're going to have problems in other areas of your physiology. I don't need to explain too deeply. But mechanics-wise, posture-wise, if you've got a tight rectus abdominis, upper, uh, upper abdominals, you've got tight muscles in your neck. Remember, these muscles are associated with the core because they balance your skull. Tight shoulders, right? then your mechanics are off in anything that you do, be it squatting, lunging, twisting, pushing, pulling, is going to be compromised. Every 
Movement emanates from a place of rest. How is your posture? How is your position of rest? So many implications associated with that also. I, mean, I, could, I could do an entire video course on that. And then finally, work capacity as the third principle for success, both in the gym and in life. You see the metaphor. Your ability to keep going past seeming exhaustion. Your ability to work until the job is complete. Your work capacity is highly linked to the results you're going to get in fitness in the gym based on the amount of volume and frequency that you're, go, you're using in your training program. But your ability to keep at it, to have endurance and agility in your work, in your relationships, in your life at large, is once again intrinsically linked to your health. If your heart and your lungs are not healthy, if the pumping mechanisms associated with it are not active, your digestive system can be compromised, your brain can be compromised, your relationships then are com compromised because you're constipated, you're farting, you got bad breath, and you got headaches. Nobody wants to hang out with you. You can see why strength training, physical training, yoga, calisthenics, exercise that supports principle number one, core strength, principle number two, biomechanics and posture, and principle number three, work capacity, all relate to you becoming a stronger version of yourself all around. Done.